Hey, so this isn't going to be a real Dollar Tree video because every Dollar Tree I've been to, they all have the same DVDs, unfortunately. It seems like every store got the same shipment, except for finally at this one. I did find a bunch by this company, ITN. Nothing I really want to grab. This is Echo Bridge, but just so that I would show that bike movie. So I wonder if kids nowadays like this as much as kids in the 80s and 90s like Rad. I highly doubt it, but you know, maybe a future cult classic there. Okay, so more INT movies. We have these right here. This one looks kind of funny. Bride of Scarecrow. A horse story. Alien Domicile. I'm pretty sure I've found this one before. I could be mistaken. I might have found a different Alien ripoff movie, but Alien Domicile, they have that. Pagan Warrior, I found that before. Visioneers, I've only found this once so far. This one seems a little bit harder to find. And of course, they have the ones I found at every store. Eight Heads, Queen and Country, November Man. I really wish I could go the rest of my life and not find another Harvey, Felix, or Ozzy. So looking up this one, Bride of the Scarecrow doesn't have a very good rating, but it's funny that the top billed person is Sean C. Phillips. We know him. Cool duder. I'll check out a cool duder movie, why not? So I did find some pretty good stuff thrifting though, and let's take a look at that. At the Salvation Army here, they have a bunch of cassette tapes. Hopefully they're three for a dollar. I'll grab these, they're blanks. Almost not even worth my time, but I can make a little bit on these. They also have 12 packs for $4. I might grab these too. They have these scotch ones, which look like a little bit higher quality. Made in Hong Kong. That actually makes a difference uh, where they're made. So they really vary in quality. These are on the lower end, but there's some that sell for like $20 each or so. I also found this Alice in Chains self-titled album the three-legged dog but i swear that my version that i had was a yellow cover and then over here was purple i guess they made two different ones it is new but uh the cellophane is all you know ripping there they have this movie new and sealed it does look pretty generic but it's out of print and does seem to have some value yeah. Thought this was a horror movie for a second. Pink Flamingos, oh no. So most PC games don't have any value. We have these right here, which aren't worth anything. This one's worth 40 bucks. The reason you're going through my stuff. Oh, was that yours? Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry, I didn't know. That's okay. I know, but I wasn't sure. Today I'm at the Goodwill. They have a couple of tool CDs. I don't have this one, Laterus, so I think I'll grab it. Found some interesting DVDs. This one, Disney Parks, vacation planning DVD, brand new and sealed. Not really worth much, just kind of interesting. Turtles 1, 2, and 3 on Blu-ray. Really cool, but don't need it. Found some more like Hellraiser. You don't see that too, too often. I definitely don't see this too often. American Werewolf in London in the original snap case. Already have it though on a different release, so I don't need this one. Exorcist 3, that's a good movie. Then I'm sure these were all from the same original owner. You have a four pack including Serial Mom, underrated John Waters movie right there. Pink Flamingos. Uh, you know, this is a, a classic of the genre. Not my personal favorite John Waters movie, but cool to find this. The disc is really scratched, so we're gonna skip that one. Was excited to find this one, Polyester, and it comes with the Odorama scratch and sniff card. So during the movie, while you're watching during certain scenes, you'll scratch it and you'll smell what's going on in the movie. You get to smell this. Yeah. I found this at a thrift store in Florida before when I was visiting. And I also found some horror movies, including Motel Hell. And when I went to pay for it, the cashier was like, we usually throw these away. And it like made me like so mad that uh, because it's like a Christian store, they usually throw away the horror movies. Uh. At Savers, they have this one, Secret Agent, AKA Danger Man, box set, 10 bucks, so pretty good deal. 
at this Salvation Army and the cops are up front. I wonder if someone called in a bomb threat or something. If the Salvation Army blows up though while I'm recording, that would get me so many subscribers. Aye, aye, aye. All I want to do is find Clifford on VHS, not the red dog, but the one with Martin Short. So that's the back of the Salvation Army. Behind this building, they have this sign here. I guess people tinkling is a big problem behind this building. So to kill some time while the firefighters do their thing, I ate my lunch slash dinner at D'Angelo. I don't recommend it because of how expensive it is. For a combo with a medium turkey, chips, and a drink, it was $14. And that's like chili prices. Come on now. And they're not even open. Okay. So at Savers, I found something very valuable, a social security card. Stinks the person lost it. I guess I'll give it to Lost and Found. I doubt they'll ever get it back. Is me giving it to Lost and Found the right thing? Because maybe someone working here will do something weird with it. Right now I'm at Kangaroo CDs and Tapes. And it really baffles my mind how this place can still be open in 2021. Last time I was here they were very overpriced and they only sold CDs and tapes. Don't know how they make much money. And also the lady would like follow you around the store. But hopefully there's something good in here uh, that we can find. Got to use the back entrance. So I do like places like this when you can find good deals, but if everything's overpriced, it's just completely pointless. So the prices were high, except for on the free VHS, those were perfectly priced. So pre-recorded VHS actually can sell if they have commercials. I'm not sure if these have commercials or not. Especially cartoons, people love the Saturday morning cartoons with commercials. Those go for a lot of money. Didn't find any of those, but did find some interesting ones. Three Stooges, Chico and the Man, Jim Morrison. NFL football, we got Tracy Lords here. Another Tracy Lords, some more football. Karate. The Beatles dinosaurs, hopefully that's the sitcom. More football, a local football one, high school. So yeah, I'll watch some of these and see what's up with them. We're gonna pop into Music Magic UCD store, see what they got today. Hopefully they have some new stuff from last time. Nice. They actually say that Michael Jackson is the king of pop, which I think is a bunch of baloney. We all know the real king of pop, Royal Crown Cola. <laughs> That's true, man. That's why it's royal. It has the crown. Yeah. Got some pretty good stuff. Spent $12. Everything was $2 each. Beatles revolver. Now this cover, some jokester. Made their eyes and lips pink. Which is just a shame. But the record itself is in good condition. So for $2, I'll grab revolver with the pink lips. Jackson Pollock book. I bought this for resale. These go as high as like 30 bucks, it seems. So that's a really good deal right there. Bought this one to watch Roger Corman movies, Viking Women and the Serpent, Teenage Caveman. Got two Thrice albums. I had these way back in the day, but they got scratched. A lot of my CDs got scratched from being in the CD book in the car. Couldn't really help that but now I have them again. Led Zeppelin Mothership. This is like a Greatest Hits CD. Oh, those are some good ones, yeah. That's it for this week though, thanks for watching. See you soon, like and subscribe if you want. Peace.